What's up guys? We got another quick video today. Just calm, that's it, I'm done. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're working on an Audi A6. We're gonna be putting on a, a cold air intake. Should be a fun little mod. So the brand is uh, ECS Tuning. Let's take a look inside the box and see what we got. So we got this, uh, it's a little adapter here. A lot of protection, uh, padding. This looks like a big heat shield. We got some weather stripping or like a seal. Got another little adapter here with some hardware. Got this silicone tubing. Looks pretty high quality. Something else in this box. Open it. Looks like uh, looks like more heat shielding. We got our filter. Looks like a K and N with a snout says ECS tuning on it. And uh, one thing left in the box. And it's another adapter. Cool. Here's everything laid out on the table. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove all the original parts. So if we look up here, we got a little hose to take off and a clamp. Then there's another clamp down here to take off the tubing. Then it's just the air box and this front duct piecing or air inlet. So to take off the air inlet, we're gonna take off this uh, plastic shield over here. Yeah, because there might be some screws that this is uh, covering up. Yeah, it looks like there's definitely two screws in the front here that's holding it in. Started with the easy stuff, removing the tubing. Should be pretty quick. With the air box you have to just uh, wiggle out and disconnect it from the air in the connector. And there should be a tube for a breather on the bottom. This air box came up right out. So this was the tube here that's supposed to be connected to the bottom. Now that everything's out, just just the air inlet and this is the screw, it's a Torx. And there's another screw underneath that little hump right there. Time to assemble the new parts. So they uh, gave us this little feet that has to screw onto the bottom of the heat shield. It goes into the rubber grommets where the uh, factory airbox was holding on to. Don't put that, don't, don't jinx me like that. We'll, t we'll tell her that after. It's like, imagine if I had to return it and you took all the boxes. So these go, so I think that one goes upside down, yeah. Why do you say you hope there's enough room? No, because it isn't going to be like that? No, this thing is threaded. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we attached the breather 
to the bottom there with an adapter and then now we gotta screw in this red adapter into the heat shield. Is she watching? Hmm? Who's she watching? Oh. All I heard was ice cream. There's directions on the, the ECS tuning website for this intake. So if you want like a more descriptive way to figure out where the screws go, you could definitely check that out if you happen to buy, I guess, anything off their website. to come out so this bull needs to come out right here take it out don't drop it don't drop the soap fine don't drop the soap this is good bro yeah, hold this don't drop this so this was a little hard to connect. But you just gotta muscle it on there and really squeeze it. Now let's get this intake tubing on. You wanna get this on before we permanently install the heat shield. That way it gives us a little room to work with. You definitely got to massage it on there because it's a very tight fit. I definitely had to loosen the clamps a little bit in order to slide it on. back this little hose and then get the clamp in place so we can tighten that down Same thing goes here, you just gotta slide this hose on, then get the clamp in place. Now we can put the feet into the rubber grommets. You know, have to press down, put your weight into it, and then put the screw back. This is the front air in the part. Like this? I got some give us, this the, the rest of the hardware goes in for this. The rest of the hardware is to screw this in. My hand. There's two long ones that go into the factory screw holes and then all the other little ones will attach both heat shields together. I would huh? just put it in pretty loose, get all the screws in, and then tighten it down with the ratchet at the end. And this stays with a little bit of space here? No, I'm not done I'm just okay. tightening everything by hand first, then I'll again. Just get a close up of everything, right? Yeah. 
Now for the filter. Pretty straightforward. Slide it on, tighten the clamp. God damn, that looks pretty. For the last piece, the rubber gasket or seal. Are you excited for your intake, yo? Oh, hell yeah. Who wouldn't? So what if it sounds like a wet fart? I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> You're jinxing me now, I'll tell you that right now. Bro, you gotta blame ECS tuning, yo. <laughs> ECS tuning. I think Lisa has it. Now we'll put it on this last piece of plastic. Yeah, she said this is her and, car now. Uh, yeah, we get to start the car. Bucks. I thought there was going to be hell of other mm -hmm. shit that actually knocked the car. Now you're done. Right. You find your key here? Yeah. Damn, it sounds like a Volkswagen. Yeah, we're just going to let this warm up and then we're going to get to hear some real. You know, if you want to 